I'm making a little booklet. I thought I would just film the process as I went. So I had some like already written on paper. Um, it's kind of cardstocky. So I thought, well, I'll use that as the base and then use some more paper and um, cover it to be the cover. So it's gonna look like this when I'm done. This will be the, the front and this will be the back. And then the insides, I have these, um, you know what I think they were, were um, cards for like filing away um, pictures or craft items. I think pictures by month because it has a place for the date and they're, you know, like Filofax or what are these? Rolodex. Um, and so I thought, well, I'm gonna reuse these. So I've turned them like back and forth but I'm gonna cover over them with things, I don't know yet, so that they'd have little little tabs and I, I am gonna use one side, you know, for each month, because um, I'm giving this as a gift to someone. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I just thought I'd kind of film it because I thought it would be fun to kind of put it together. So step one, uh, glue the paper to the card stop. I found this um, music vellum paper. I was at Hobby Lobby the other night and it was like 40% off or something. And, um, I just thought maybe this would be really good to go in this little, I didn't have any plan for what I was making. It is for a, a friend. It's a gift. Um, and it's going to be like a scripture card holder scripture. Well, so we normally make like scripture cards for each other and trade them and put verses and stuff on them and then carry, you know, then we can have it throughout the year or whatever for each month. So each of these represents like, it'll be one month, like this will be January, February, March, that's kind of the thing. And I thought this would make a fun, like divider or something. So she's a music teacher. So the music, and maybe, I don't know, they don't look like they go together, but in my mind, I think they're gonna go together. So um, I'm gonna cut, a couple of these, however many I can get. And uh, I think I maybe I'm gonna, I'm just talking this out on here because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I think maybe I'm gonna bind it before I decorate it or I just don't know yet. Maybe I should figure that out before I come back on. Okay, because I'm still moving, I can't find it all the things. So I found the most colorful washi that I can find. So I'm very like vintage, you know, browns and, you know, um, yellows and, you know, old stuff. And she's very colorful and fun and bright. Not that I'm not fun, but you know what I mean? Like fun colors. Uh, so I went digging through to find what I had to things. So I found in this sticker book some months. So these are what I'm gonna use to label um, label this with and I thought you know I do want to cover these I don't mind the lines so much but I think I want to put some washi over that and I also found these stickers at the dollar 25 store wait dollar tree dollar 25 tree and these are pretty colorful and so they were with their planner stickers but I thought these would be kind of um, fun there's like five five sheets and they're all kind of similar, similar colors, but slightly different, you know, on each page. So I'm gonna use that. I also found this, which I thought they had some kind of cute. There were some planner, you know, a couple of like planning things to do's, but then they had just some fun stuff. So I think that's what I'm gonna use to decorate it with. And one of these colorful washies because I don't know where the rest of mine are. Okay, so something like this. And so I am going, or the plan was to write multiple like verses on here. And I'm not really sure yet uh, because I realized there's really not a lot of room. I could turn it this way, but this one just happened to have a verse on there. So I thought that was great. Um, but my goal was to use, you know, like January and this would be February. So I may have to come up with like, um, Plan B, like I might put some extra sheets of paper between there or something. I'm not 100% not sold on this yet. But 
this is this is the plan you know i i think i'm ready to bind it i think um so this is kind of where it's at right now this is the cover and then i have like this um vellum as a cover page or a title page or something um, and then i have them all like that decorated obviously there's still plenty of room left to to write and I'm thinking um I might end up putting paper like a couple of sheets of pages between um part of my thought was maybe I'd let her you know write down her memory of the month or something on there I don't really know yet where this is going but um and then a back page and then I thought I would make her a sticker a page and I'd put the stickers on it and it could it could go there on the back page and then it's reusable she could well the stickers are not but the sticker paper is so she could you know use the stickers and then put more on just you know to carry around with her or something anyway and then i have a sent here that's how it's going to do it and i have this little piece from a previous project that is not big enough for all of this which you know i could just do part of it um but the other part of me thinks i have a mess and need to clean my Thing off that is not what the other the other part of me thinks uh, aside from my ADD um, is that I should get a whole a whole new um, let's see a whole new one but then then I have to cut it too and then I have like two parts two pieces I don't know what is this it's about would it take about half of it Yeah, basically I'd have no a little bit more. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So that's what I'm doing next, and I I maybe I'm gonna stick some some paper in there. And I went digging in my drawer for some paper and I came on this book. I think I picked up at the dollar twenty-five tree. And I know I picked it up for her to use probably months ago when I was going to make this. And I had the idea that I would use this as the cover and cut it up. And so when I went looking for paper, I found it. It's got this cute, this paper. So I'm going to use it. But then I'm like, I want to use the cover too, even though I made those. So I'm going to cut this down, sort of drawing on it, and use this on top of that. I think I'm still going to use it. Who knows how this is going to turn out. I'm doing the, my least favorite part. The lights on, the doors open, because I had to go looking for my little tools. I hate having to curl these under, but maybe you know it's a really good way to do this. Please feel free to enlighten me. I have no idea how to make this. All right. Got it. Got it together. And, um got the starting verse there now I have not gone through and put verses on every page um, but I just started it she's a music teacher so music notes I've decorated a little bit more um, but then what I decided to do was put a piece of paper in between so she'll have a place to like write you know with each month so i think that's pretty good now oh and then the back here i have the sticker sheet which i have room to find a couple more stickers to go in there so i think i'm pretty pleased with this just uh got some verses sprinkled throughout and plenty of place for her to add you know other notes or more stickers or whatever whatever she'd like so it's kind of fun a little different than what i normally normally do but i, th I think she's gonna like it um, and then in the back i added um some sticker release paper with stickers on it that she can use or you know add her own and you know use them so all in all i'd say it's a success